You want to build your micro SaaS with no code or code and maybe using the AI. And after that, you want to make some cash with it. Go to the Bali or remote work, quit your nine to five job. Spoiler, I do not care. What I do care is how to make money and how to build systems that make money. I'm not another fancy blogger. I'm just tired CEO of all the BS that I see in the internet right now. So how to build your microsas? First of all, you have to find your own idea. And what is the best way to find your idea? It's to copy. Easiest way. No, no, no. It's steal. Fuck ethical stealing. I mean, seriously. If you see the successful idea, why not to build a clone? Stop stopping yourself. It's like, a, what I should do? Should my idea do this or do that? How I can beat them? Fuck that. Just copy one to one. How I am doing this copying things? My copying framework is super simple and straightforward. First of all, I'm searching for 10 at least competitors. Then, okay, I will steal landing page from here. I will steal technical stack from here. I will steal the concept from here. And ads I will steal from this guy. That's it. It's so simple and straightforward. Oh, by the way, really unexpected bonus. After you ship your first idea, you will finally start generating really cool new ideas. You will face reality. You will face how people are buying, why they are buying or not, their complaints. You will ship from A to Z and you will generate at least 50 ideas within the next couple of months. Guarantee. For instance, you will face the reality that uh, if you will place your product on Product Hunt, for example, many of people will upvote and downvote your product, many people are buying fake upvotes, and you have to do something with that. This is the reality. Hello! On top of that, if you want to ship really, really, really fast, use my fucking MicroSAS fast Next.js boilerplate. Starter kit, you name it. It's already have everything that you need to start shipping, to generate new ideas, to get this experience. No, of course, you can think about bright future, all these kind of things. But the bright future happens when you start shipping something, when you face the reality. Please face the reality. Next thing, it's over engineering. I see this over and over and over and over again. It's like a, this is problem not only for the software developers, this is problem also for founders. They think, oh, should I buy this software for my uh, product or that or developer standard? Should I use Next.js or Vue.js, Python or Node.js, whatever? Nobody cares. I've been in IT for 10 years and guess what? This tech stack doesn't mean anything. No, they mean when you're planning to build something big, scalable, maintainable with all these bells and whistles. But on early stage, just use what you have, what's allowing you to move fast. You can use shit like Claude AI, Cursor AI, Bolt New, and this new windsurf or something like that, that beating everyone in the market right now. Guys, just use something, no code, code, nobody cares. Why no code entrepreneurs can be proactive and use at least something and you as the software developer not? I know, I know, you may say something like, Dennis, hold on a second, but this is not good in this and that. I hearing this all the time. And guess what the future is waiting for you? You will be a 60 year old professor somewhere in university with Maybe a good salary, maybe not. That knows Pascal. And that's it. Period. By the way, I need subscribers. So if you love the content, click like and subscribe. Motivation. This is a really, really my favorite blog. You do not have enough motivation to start the business? Just listen what I'm feeling right now. When I'm going to sleep and when I'm waking up, I'm just opening my Stripe account. And guess what's happening in the middle of the night? People are purchasing my product. This is fucking the best motivation in the world. You're sleeping and money is making money. That's it. Wanna something like that? This is your motivation. Next problem. How to find the time to do your side hustle routine or micro SaaS, whatever. First of all, super simple and easiest rule in the world. 
Use your productive hours. You do not have to work more. I'm not working more. I'm lazy. I'm really fucking lazy. What I'm doing? I'm just know that from 8 a.m. till 11 a.m. This is the most productive hours. And I can do my routine during that time. That's it. The rest of the time is standard phone calls, video meetings and other BS that I'm really not interested in. This is how it works. Imposter syndrome? Yeah, I know, I feel it. Am I good enough? Am I idea good enough? Should I continue developing my product? Or I should, I don't know, release it today? Uh, all these concerns. Guys, nobody give a fuck about you and your product. People do care only about value that your product bringing on the table. If they see value, they will pay. If they do not see value, they will ignore you. That's it. And you will have just yet another grave in your graveyard. Hmm. So the easiest way to beat this problem is to ship, 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 ship. Many graves, yes, but who care if you're making money with that? It's like a muscle training. You have to do this every fucking day. If you want to see more useful shit about Microsoft routine, follow me on X where I share systems and obvious things that drives me crazy. Not sure where to start and what to do? Ask me on one-on-one -on -one chat. Yes, it's paid. Yes, it's not cheap. But this is the reality. Anyway, hope this advice was useful for you. See you.